This came up at work the other day, and I'm not going to fire any shots. I'm not gonna not gonna elude towards anything, or Dave. This is where he describes the person. To give anything to a T. Give yeah. anything away. Or you damn near God likes bless to have for America. Lunch. This is a tough topic. I think, personally, this is what I think. Put your phone down and listen to what I'm saying. <sighs> I'm, I'm reading it. I wanted to read it, too. I think that being able to admit that you are factually wrong is a good quality to have, good quality to have as and a person. Huh? And eater. And and eater. Is a good quality to have as a an adult. Not to be confused with your opinion, but just factually wrong. And to be able to admit that is something that I think is a good quality. And to that other could, adults, huh? To who? To yeah, to other adults. Okay. And and this could be used. I mean, this could be. So I get accused of being wrong a lot by people that I work with. Oh, okay. Well, it, because is that why you got the Google box? Yeah, a hundred percent. Because at the mine. So at the mine, it was a, they say that the coal mine is the biggest pool of useless knowledge that there ever will be. Right? You heard of the United States government? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shots fired. <clears throat> but like, it, it just like factually, you know what I mean? Like if somebody was talking about trivia. some, you know, trivia, stuff like that, you know, oh yeah, that's, you know, blah, 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 blah. But. Being wrong about something is, it's okay to be wrong. You know, I'm wrong all the time, and I admit it. And I think it's a good quality to have. Like, so there was just a little bit of a, not necessarily a spat, but a little argument here in the break about, Oh yeah, certain, yeah, certain things. I wouldn't say it was an argument. It was oh, a discussion. I, I feel no, I was definitely wrong. David, you were. Yeah, yeah. I just I told him he was wrong. Oh, on the six hundred dollar. Yeah. Yeah. So like, but, but that's okay. I understand yeah. where yeah. he was at. Though. Right. But I'm. But I'm like, say, Justine gets me all the time on shit, and and it just pisses me off because I know she's right, but it, I don't want her to be right. But she is. You know what I mean. But me being able to say, I'm sorry, you're right. You know, like that happens all the time. But it usually doesn't happen on the other side of the coin. My wife doesn't listen, so we're fine. But like, you know. We've heard that before, Dave. Yeah. But like if you, you know what I mean? Like if you get her on something or if I get whoever on something, you know, and they're like. Well, uh, blah, 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 blah. you know what I mean? Without saying, "I'm yeah, okay, yeah, I was wrong. You know, and it's like, why why, why is it so hard for you to admit that you're wrong? You know what I mean? Like, that's, I don't know. It, 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 something came up the other day, and, like, me and a couple other guys were like, what, you know, what the hell? Like, why why couldn't he just, why couldn't he just admit, admit that he was wrong? You know what I mean? And it's like, I just... That's how he is, you know. He's just a hard-headed guy and all this shit. And I'm like, yeah, he is. He's hard-headed, and I want to punch him right in the face. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes. But I'm not going to. You know what I mean? But Because that would be wrong. Yeah, it would be wrong. And you'd Back. probably lose your job. Yeah, for sure. Well, no, it's just, this wasn't at work. Oh, okay. No, no, no. This wasn't at work. Oh. Because yeah. workplace violence is not okay. No. no. But but that, I guess that's that's where I was at with it. It's like, you know. And it's not, I want to reiterate, factually wrong, right? Like factually wrong, not morally wrong or not opinionatedly wrong or whatever well, you Well, you couldn't say. be wrong in your opinion because yeah. that's what an opinion exactly, is. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So like me thinking one thing and you telling me that I'm wrong for thinking that way Oh yeah, yeah. There's no such thing. Yeah, get get effed. You know that's the way I think, and I feel 
that I stand behind my. That's pet. why in America we can't have conversations about difficult issues. Yeah. Because one side over the other always thinks automatically you're wrong. Right? I mean, mm -hmm. take, I mean, any, well, any of the subjects we avoid. Yeah. Basically, yeah. if you don't believe in what that other person supporting, then, then, you're, then you're wrong. Then they're like, well, you're wrong. Yeah. Well, that's not what I believe in. No. Well, you're wrong anyways. Right. Well, I don't tell you you're wrong for believing in what you believe right. in. Well, you just did. Well, no, you're telling me I'm wrong, so why can't I tell you that you're wrong? Well, because that's not very nice. How okay. many times How many times have you heard a song on the radio? <clears throat> and you're like, oh, damn, that's a good one. This is by so-and-so. And you're like, no. No, it's not. It's not by so-and-so. It's by da-da-da. Bullshit. They sang this, you know, this album or whatever and i'm like no you're wrong google it up or shazam it or whatever and is that still a thing yeah Shazam's i, I a big shazam thing. all the time and like you show them and they're like well they probably just redid it or whatever you know what i mean i'm like no mother you're wrong just admit the fact that you're wrong you know what i mean and it's like some people just they just can't do it and i i I can, you know what I mean? I, I, I could be better at it sometimes. That's why I want to preface this by saying I could, I could be better at it, you know, you know, but, but I just, I was thinking about this the other day and I wanted to see what you guys think. Do you guys have anybody that you deal with or somebody that you know, or anybody like that, that really struggles with it? Like without, you know, oh, not, I'd say everybody knows at least 12 people like that. 12 people like that. Yeah, I think it, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's the severity of which they're wrong about their facts. You think? I think that has to deal with some of it. Or or the consistency of how they're wrong. Um, how often do you find yourself in this situation, though, where somebody's factually incorrect? A lot. See, that's wild to me because I can't think of very many conversations i have on a day-to-day -day basis where because you don't work with a bunch of uh blue collar dipshits you know what i mean that are that are full of confidence that that they are right but they're not right you know i mean and i think that i mean that, that's got a lot to say with i'm mean, sure with you right dave i mean you you got a bunch of brains that you're dealing with in there i could only imagine engineers have to notoriously be the worst at that yeah that's what i mean yeah you know as far as not admitting that they're wrong, I don't know. Most of the, maybe I'm just lucky. Uh, well, I'm not like an engineer by trade. No, like most of the folks I work with, like if somebody's coming to you with data, there's been typically a fair amount of homework done. Yes, before said data was presented or or reviewed or, or yeah. released. And if new information comes out that makes that data irrelevant, then it's normally like, oh well. Yeah, but I think he, the math checks out. I'll be damn. <laughs> well, but I think he. But I think to Big Mace's point is more of you're standing around the coffee pot and there's a guy that walks in and says, "Yeah, that the, uh, you know, that old Patrick Mahomes, he's a shitty quarterback." Well, no, he's not. Oh yeah, look at his numbers; they're terrible. Yeah, because it could be an opinion too, though. I guess that's no, the, that's not that's not it. This this is a okay. uh, this is a total like I think the song on the radio thing. It really bothers you. That's a big one. And then, like, I guess I just don't hang around with anybody yeah, I don't, that that really strikes a chord with. I don't talk to anybody about sports or anything. Yeah. Uh, so that's out. Uh, if you, let's just put yourself, okay, so go, go, go inside, go, in, go inside your house, go inside your house right now. Yeah. And you, you know where this thing goes like this is where this lives right and you put this thing you use this thing and then you go put this back in its home this is where it lives and then someone else in your household asks you where hey is where does this where is this thing and you say well it's it's in its home this is this it's there that's where it is well, why is it there? That's not where it goes. And you're, well, 
what do you mean? Yes, it is. Like it, it's clearly labeled that that's where that lives. And instead of them saying, oh, oh yeah, that's right. Then they'll be, then they go into like this whole, does it matter? It doesn't matter where it lives. I just wanted to know where it's at. You know what I mean? And they I'm like, deflect that they were wrong. Yes. I don't know. There, that's it. Yes, they deflect that they were wrong. They Instead of admitting it, they just deflect that they were wrong. So one of the words, I I don't know if it's a TikTok trend yet or not, but somebody was talking about their word for 2024 was, I forget what it was, but it was something dumb. Put it on a poster, whatever. Mm -hmm. But mine's always been accountability. Like I'm a firm believer in accountability. Mm -hmm. Like it is a pillar of my core beliefs. That accountability is a lot of things. And I guess in my situation and in my life, I pick and choose a lot of battles based on what I like believe in or what I know. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that I would care to put too much energy into an argument about where something goes. Because to me, it, it's not a hill to die on. Well, no, that, that, that's not necessarily the hill to die on. It's just that the... <clears throat> the general principle. The general the principle, general principle of is the you thing. let it bother you more than you should. Yeah, I think I let it bother me because I, I guess I, what I think is right and wrong. That you always have to be right. Not necessarily. I mean, we can break this down like relationship uh, counseling. We'll put you on the couch, put your feet up, put your head up, and we can mm, psychoanalyze. Sounds it. pretty good right now. Yeah, especially if that couch is like right here now. Yeah. That baby's yeah, it's, it, it's going now. But I, but I think that's it. Depends on how you are as a person. Like you're, I'm just reading tea leaves. But Dave, I don't think you would care too much about it. You just walk away. Like I'm not going to get bent out of shape that much unless it's something you truly care about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I think emotional uh, emotional involvement at that point in time is probably a, plays a pretty critical role in uh, what's the word I'm looking for the rationality of. Uh, the situation, I guess. Well, let's just go back to that whole putting things something where it needs to go thing. Then, if you had to, if you had to use this every single day, and okay. you knew that, and this is a community thing that yeah, ever, and it wasn't there when you needed. It. Yes, and yeah. you had to go there, and eight times out of ten, the son of a bitch was not in the right spot. And then, whenever the two other people that are that are responsible for using this. Both look at you and say, "It doesn't matter that it's not back there." I would hide it from those two people. And that's what I'm. Yeah, lost. yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? But that would that's that's where I'm getting at. Like, just own up to it and say, "Yeah, yeah." But then that's but that goes back to the accountability thing, and it's not as much of what your topic is, but about dealing in situations of people that are lazy f <laughs> that won't do what they need to do. Well. That could be definitely because uh, that's where your frustration and aggravation comes from. From your example, yeah, you're going to get a set of keys that are supposed to be there mm -hmm. for a piece of equipment, and they're never there because those guys just don't give to. We'll leave it in the cup holder, or we'll leave it here, or we yeah. leave it in our pocket. Yeah, so it's an aggravation thing of it, and they or, just, and then when but when you confront that guy about it, like they have hey, a laissez-faire attitude about yeah. it, and they don't care exactly. Well, and I think that's pisses. That's what pisses me off the most. Yeah, because they don't care. Yeah. So I guess the thing about it is, is I and is it that they don't care about you? Like I don't give a f what you think. Like what's it matter? Go find them. You know, get over it. Well, but why should I have to do that whenever I'm being instructed to do something and or to do or why when I know for a fact that that, that song on the radio is by this guy. But see, now you're mixing two different issues. Right. I'm, I don't know. I, I guess I'm just trying to make the point of if you if you know for a fact wholeheartedly that you are right and this person thinks that they wholeheartedly know that they're right, but they're wrong. And when you tell them that they're wrong and you factually prove them wrong, huh, that would be damn. Well, maybe, you know See, what I mean? Like, yeah. And it's not worth the energy for me right. to ever deal with them again. That's right. I'm pretty easy just writing people off in my yeah. life. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I don't know. It was just something that I had a situation. No, I get, I'm not trying to downgrade what you're saying. I'm just yeah, saying no, I, get I just that. get done dealing with them. Yeah. But, I mean, if you have to work with them, but, like, I'm very fortunate. Oh, no, see, none of this has got to do with anything at work. 
Oh, it's all at home. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not at home either. Oh, this okay. is just in general. Oh, okay. Yeah. In general. Yeah. We're not going to describe the situation, Dave. Yeah. We're just going to. In general. Yeah. In general. Well, there it is. Okie dokie. What you got? Do you feel better? Yeah. Oh, I'm good. Good. I'm good. I'm glad. I'm glad mm. that you feel better. 